are here and watching me because I brought something very special for you. Something very dangerous. Are you guys excited? Are you going to be scared? Count to three. Three, two, one. Ta -da! Oh, you don't think it's dangerous? Wait, I need to put it on. And one. What is it? Do you know, guys, what this is? This is called dry eyes. Can you say with me, dry eyes? Do you guys know what dry eyes is? No, it's not like regular eyes at all. This is a very special eyes. Regular eyes is made of water. You take water, just like I have over here, and you put it in the freezer, and it turns from a liquid to a, that's right, solid. And then you take it out of the freezer, and it turns from solid into a liquid, and we call it melting. Well, dry ice doesn't have any water. Duh, that's why they call it dry. Dry ice, it does not have a drop of water. It is not made out of water. You know what it's made of? It is made out of gas. And the name of that gas is carbon dioxide. You want to say it with me? Carbon dioxide. So, scientists take lots and lots and lots of carbon dioxide gas and they turn it from gas into a solid. And as soon as gas turns into solid, it immediately starts turning right back into gas. That's right, it never turns back into liquid. It never melts. Dry ice never melts. It does something else. And I bet you guys, you did not notice that this piece of dry ice is now a little smaller compared to when I got it out of my cooler. And the reason for it is dry ice sublimates, turns from solid into gas without entering into liquid. It sublimates, it basically disappears, but it doesn't melt. And if I stand here long enough and hold it in my hand, guess what? My hand eventually is gonna be empty because all of the dry ice will sublimate. But I bet you wanna see what we can do with dry ice. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, are you ready? I have these two pieces of dry ice and I am going to drop them into water. Let's give it a countdown. Three, two, one. <gasps> what is it? Oh my goodness. What, what's all of this? Do you guys know? <gasps> I hope nobody said fire. But I hope somebody said a cloud. This is actually almost like a cloud. It's like a very thick fog. It's called water vapor. And you can even touch it. But you know what? Touching the water vapor is not the coolest thing you can do with the water vapor. How about we do something really special? I have this cup, is I'm going to pour a little bit of water into the cup. Next, I'm going to take some soap and I'm going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze this soap into my cup. And lastly, I have something very scientific for you. I know, I'm just joking, it's not really scientific. It is a piece of a towel, uh -huh, yeah, just a regular towel, like you take your bath with and we are going to make it really 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 soapy and watch carefully what happens oh my goodness what is it can you guys see wow that's a gigantic bubble Oh my, God. and it's getting bigger. Guys, I think it's gonna get as big as this room. <gasps> Whoa, oh no, oh no, it's getting even bigger. <gasps> I think I should 
ready for the next experiment and for this I need a regular water bottle and I filled it with water and of course you already know what we're gonna be doing I have several pieces of dry ice over here and I'm just gonna put them inside the bottle all right Ooh, that looks really good I'm just gonna put all of them in there. What do you guys think? Should I put just all of the pieces of dry ice in there? Awesome. By the way, guys, why am I holding dry ice in my glove? Why can't I just touch it with my hand? Well, guess what? Dry ice is super duper dangerous because it is very, very, very cold. It is so cold that if you touch it, you are going to burn your hand. It is minus 109 degrees. Guys, can you imagine 109, minus 109 degrees? This is almost as cold as Antarctica. Yeah. All right. I am not gonna touch dry ice, but I am going to do something very special. I have my balloon over here, and I am going to put it on top of my water bottle. <gasps> Guys, what's happening? Guys, can you see what's happening with the balloon? Why is it getting bigger and bigger and bigger? Who can tell me? I know what you're saying. You're saying that dry ice is sublimating. That's right, dry ice is turning into gas. And what was the name of that gas? Carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is filling up the balloon and oh it got so big i think i'm gonna take it off Ooh. and what do you guys think we should do with it i think we should let it go let's see what happens oops <laughs> and the balloon is gone all right wow we've done so much we saw how dry ice can make a gigantic bubble, how dry ice can form a cloud, and even how dry ice can inflate a balloon. I wonder what else dry ice can do. Hmm. Do you guys think that dry ice can, I don't know, play soccer? No? Hmm. What about dance like a ballerina? Can dry ice sing? What? You don't think dry ice can sing? Let me prove you wrong. And for this, we need something very scientific, which is a big, gigantic spoon. Dry ice will only sing for us if the spoon is warm. Let me check if it's warm. Ooh, really, really cold. Hmm, what can we do? Guys, help me out. How can we warm up the spoon? Hmm, I heard some of you say, let's put it in the microwave. You never, ever, ever put metal in a microwave. We can probably put it in an oven, but that's gonna take a long time. What else can I do? I don't have any hot water. Hmm, how about we use science? Do you guys wanna use science? We're gonna use friction. We are going to rub, 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 rub the spoon. And I need your help. Can everybody say rub, 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 rub? Rub, 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 rub. Ooh, the spoon is getting warmer. It's almost hot. Perfect. Now, I'm going to put my glove back. I'm gonna hold a big piece of dry ice and I'm gonna warm it up some more. Are you guys ready? Shh. Dry ice is a very shy singer, but please be very kind and please give a big round of applause when you hear it sing. Are you guys ready for the next experiment? And for this one, I brought something very scientific. Ta-da! It's a Ziploc bag. And what we're going to do, we're going to open our Ziploc bag and I'm going to pour a little bit of water. Okay, done. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab a little piece of 
dry eyes. Actually, I have a couple of little pieces. I'm gonna put them inside and I'm going to close the bag and can you guys see what's happening? I think the bag is getting filled with gas. Oh my goodness, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's getting bigger. Can you guys, can you guys see it getting bigger? Ah! You guys are so smart because there was so much gas in this bag that it couldn't hold it anymore and it couldn't open because I closed it so well and it broke. Okay guys, are you ready for the next experiment? And this one is going to be super duper special. Look at the jar that I bought and of course, you know what's coming. We are going to throw a few pieces of dry ice. Ooh. Don't you love this? But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to cover the jar and I'm going to hold this and if I cover it completely, guys, look at this. Remember how we call this? That's right, water vapor. Now, I'm going to open it just a tiny bit. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water to my top and I'm also going to add some soap. So let me add lots and lots of soap. Okay, now let me take this off for a moment. I'm gonna mix it just so it's very, very soapy. Are you guys ready? Let's see what happens. Whoa! I think I'm making some bubbles. Look how big they are. I'm actually trying to make them really, really, really big for you. And I'm trying not to pop them. And that's why I'm keeping them on the towel. There is a better chance of them staying on the towel than on my Nutty Scientist Table Plus. Let's try another one. All right, let's try to make another big bubble. I'm trying to make a really big one. Hopefully, hopefully it won't break. Oh, guys, look at this, guys! I think I made a snowman! Wait a second, wait a second. Let's make a really big snowman. I have an even better idea. I'm gonna call my assistant. Come over here, put your hands here. I'm gonna give you the bubble and I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do. Are you ready? Here we go. Here is a bubble. And you're gonna put it on my head. Did it stay? Awesome! Guys, what do you think? Here is Professor Proton with a bubble on your head. Let me touch it. very special for you. Do you guys know how we call this? Mm. Oh, I hear beaker. Somebody's very smart, but not quite. No, it's not a scientific cup. Come on, guys. I know you know. Okay, I'm going to make it very easy for you. Is this a flask? Or is this a rainbow pony? That's right. You guys are so smart. It's a flask. And what I'm going to do is remember our so we are going to squeeze a little bit of soap into the flask and I'm going to add some dry ice to it. Let me, let me get all of my pieces ready and we are going to get them in there. Oh my goodness, what is it? I think this is a dry ice volcano. I think it's gonna overflow. What do you guys think? <gasps> you know what we've made? We've made dry ice volcano. Okay, let me touch lava. <gasps> wow, did you know that lava can do this? Like, really? 
real lava cannot do this, but dry ice volcano lava can. Ooh, look at this! There is so much soap coming! <gasps> oh, Professor Proton is gonna be covered in soap for the rest of the day. And that's it for today! I hope you guys had lots of fun! I certainly had tons of fun with you today! And we hope to see you guys very soon! Bye!